I'm Brian from Ruhide Saddlery and I'm here today to talk to you about what we like to see in the seat of our saddles. So what I'm looking for when I'm looking at the seat of a saddle, I want to check out the pocket. So I'll get down eye level with the saddle. I'm going to look back here at the back of the skirts, right here and look at the height of this. And I'm going to look at it in comparison to the heart of the pocket, okay, the low spot in the pocket. If I see that sitting very flush, that's telling me that I'm going to be sitting on this saddle and not in this saddle. I want to try to be able to roll my hips down as easy as possible into that natural cutting position so I can sit that stop. The last thing I want to be concentrating on is how I'm going to sit my stop when I'm out there in the show pen. So when I'm sitting on this saddle and I've got that pelvic angle where I'm sitting straight up and down, it's going to be really, really hard for me to naturally roll that hip down and get that smooth stop. So I'll actually swing myself up in this saddle. I'm going to want to toss my feet up in the stirrups. So whenever you guys are actually uh, testing out a saddle, you're going to want to make sure you put your feet in the stirrups, okay? Get them set to the right length, the length you're normally going to be riding in, so you get that true feel. Um, it's going to make your saddle feel much wider if you leave your feet just dangling out of the stirrup. So first thing I'll do with the customer is have them set their stirrups at the right length. Okay, I've got them set for me now. So right now in this saddle, I almost feel like I'm sitting in a bar stool. I've got... Uh, almost that straight up and down uh, pelvis position. Now if I need to go down and really sit that stop and roll my hips, I've got to force this to happen to get that pelvic tilt for me to get in that natural cutting position, be able to sit that stop. Now if I go to a relaxed position, let my muscles go, right away it's wanting to push me straight up and down again, okay? So in order for me to get that good stop again, I'm going to have to boom, fight it, really, really brace and hard against these uh, stirrups driving forward and as soon as I relax, it's driving me right back up. So not exactly what I want to feel um, in my seat. You can almost feel like I'm sitting on the saddle, not in it. Once again, that bar stool scenario. Now we have one of our custom roos sit here on, uh, sitting here on the rack. Um, one thing I like to do, just like I did with the last saddle, is check the back of the skirts. So I'm going to lay this hand here and lay my other hand right there at the bottom of the pocket. Look at the difference here. So this shows you that I'm going to be sitting in this saddle and not on that saddle. This paints that perfect picture of uh, one of Ruhide's mottos, sit in and not on a Ruhide. So you can already tell this is going to just allow me, boom, to really, really sink those hips down into that natural cutting position, be able to sit that stop and make my job a heck of a lot easier. Okay, I'm going to hop up in this saddle now here in the Ru. Toss my feet up in the stirrups first. Make sure my fenders are set at the right length. Takes a little bit of pressure there off those hips, making sure that my feet are there in the stirrups in the right spot. So right away as I hopped into the saddle, you could probably see the difference in the angle of my hips. Less of that bar stool effect. I was sitting in uh, the other tree and when I relax, boom, I'm already sitting deep down in that pocket. That feels so good to me right now. I'm not gonna have to fight to get down there. Um, I was having a little bit of a struggle in that last saddle getting down in this position. I was literally having to engage muscles to stay down in that position without it and without it wanting to rock me right forward. Right now at an absolute relaxed state, it's just really sitting me deep down deep there. I'm sure you guys can see that from side profile. You see the skirts up here and the comparison basically how low my butt and my hips are sinking down into this. Um, the other thing because I'm sitting so comfortably and nice in this pocket with that proper angle, I'm not going to have to brace way out here with my feet up against those stirrups in order to sit that stop. I can get a good secure stop within right here, and I'm ready to use my legs when, when I need them. If I have to bring my legs from all the way up here to back here to use my legs against that horse, there's that much time that uh, is delayed there. So right now I get to use my legs here and here all comes down to good timing. So now you know the importance of a good pocket in the seat of your saddle. I'm Brian. Sit quiet, close, and comfortable with the rear hide.